As part of dark adaptation, the Perkins effect causes the eye's peak luminance sensitivity to move toward the blue end of the color spectrum under the low illumination levels. While the effect is generally described from the perspective of the human eye, it is well known in a number of species by the same term to describe the general shifting of spectral sensitivity due to the pooling of rod and cone output signals as part of dark and light adaptation. Way back in 1813, Jan Evangelista began his medical studies which culminated with his dissertation contribution to the understanding of vision from the subjective point of view. During his investigations into the physiology of vision, he had studied the phenomenon of color perceptions at low levels of light. At dusk, blue light, which has a short wavelength, seems to be brighter than red light, which has a longer wavelength. Today, this phenomenon is called the Purkinje effect. Then, after some years, he arrived in Rocklaw with his microscope. He presented an investigation of the eye, which enabled physicians to measure the curvature of cornea and diagnose eye disorders. Today, reflections of structures within the eye are called Purkinje images. The very definition for the perception of color is a rather broad and ambiguous topic, to which defines color as a visual sensation that is separate from the physical attributes of an object. Now, to uncomplicate this, we should take Isaac Newton's demonstration that color is a quality of light, and light as we know of is a form of electromagnetic radiation. Therefore, light has similar qualities to waves and particles, which means that each beam of light has its own particular value of energy, wavelength, and frequency. As discussed earlier, our eyes have cones, which are sensitive to longer wavelengths, and rods which are sensitive to shorter wavelengths. From here on, we can collate all of these ideas and definitions together and finally understand that color as a visual sensation is triggered by the value of wavelength that a particular color possesses. And in this illustration, we can see how red has the longest level of wavelength and in the other end of the spectrum has the blues and the violets, which has the shortest level of wavelength. For Kenya reason that human has two systems upon viewing color in dim light and in bright light. We have two photoreceptors in the human eye, which are rods and cones. Rods are responsible for the dark illumination or low light environment. It is known as scotopic vision. It is also more sensitive than the cones, but not sensitive in colors. Second, we have cones. Cones that are responsible for the bright light illumination or high level of light environment. They call it photopic vision. These two are the reasons why we see colors in different lighting affects our perception in recognizing such colors. The effect happens because human eyes color sensitivity cones in the retina are most vulnerable or sensitive to green light whereas rods do not determine colors and just respond best to green blue light. This elucidates why we cannot see many colors at night other than blues and greens that our rods can recognize or sense. How does Purkinje effect occurs? Purkinje effect occurs at the transition between photopic vision which makes use of our cones and scotopic vision which uses our rods. So basically uh, it is when moving from high level of illumination to low level of illumination. The effect occurs because in mesopic conditions uh, the outputs of cones in the retina uh, which are generally responsible for the perception of color in daylight uh, are pulled with the outputs of um, rods which are more sensitive under those conditions and have peak sensitivity uh, in blue-green wavelength of 507 nanometers. Do you ever wonder why we see red in the dark? In this illustration, exhibit exhibits the wavelength properties of each of the primary and secondary colors. We can see how red has the longest value of wavelengths amongst the others, which would explain the Perkin J effect in its full exemplification. At nighttime, 
our eyes shift to our, to our sotophic vision, which is basically our nighttime vision, where the cones of our eyes become more sensitive to shorter wavelengths of colors such as the blues and greens, and the red appear darker at nighttime due to the lack of contrast that daytime lighting provides for color with the longer wavelengths that emphasizes their color even more. An example of this is how cars are designed to have red tail lights instead of the white and blue ones, so it would not interfere with our ability to drive during nighttime. The Purkinje effect, sometimes called the Purkinje shift or dark adaptation, is the tendency for the peak luminance sensitivity of the human eye to shift towards the blue and of the color spectrum at low illumination levels. The effect is named after the Zeg anatomist, John Evangelista. Pioneer Zeg experimental physiologist was investigations in the fields of histology, amber embryology, and pharmacology help create a modern understanding of the eye vision, brain, and heart function, mammalian reproduction, and composition of cells. Evangelista noticed that his favorite flowers appeared bright red on a sunny afternoon, while at dawn they looked very dark. In low light situations, digital cameras do not replicate human eyesight due to the presence of blue, green sensitive and red blind rod cells. The eye becomes increasingly sensitive to bluer wavelengths of light as light beams. Cameras do not have a similar mechanism and variably in which shot in low light do not accurately reflect the color perceived. Pekinji image are one of these eye tracking methods that can be used to detect both the movement and the position of the patient's eye. The so-called Pekinji image is the reflection of the object that you can see in the eye of a person. The Pekinji effect, sometimes called Pekinji shift, or dark adaptation is the tendency for the peak sensitivity of the human eye to shift toward the blue end of the color spectrum at a low illumination levels. So with this effect, this introduces a difference in the color contrast under different levels of illumination. And it has been suggested that the cones have a pigment that shows a maximum of, um, absorption at 5550 and angstroms, but the phenomena of color vision demand that there be uh, three types of cones. So with um, the three separate pigments um, having maximum absorption in the red, green, and uh, blue, so that it is more probable that the photophic um, luminosity curve is a reflection of the simulated behavior of the three types of cones rather um, than of one. It may be assumed that the sensation of luminosity under any given condition is um, determined by certain ganglion cells that make connections to all three types of cones and also to roads or to rods. So At extremely low levels of stimulation, which is in the response is driven by the activity aroused in the um, translated into a organized experience that experience or percept is the joint product of the stimulation and of the process itself. So relations found between various types of stimulation, example is the light waves and sound waves, and their assorted percepts suggest that inferences that can be made about the properties of the um, perceptual process. So um, regards to the Perkin G effect, we have the theories of perceiving then um, can be developed on the basis of these interferences because the perceptual process is not itself um, public or directly observable except to the perceiver himself but who, whose percepts are given directly in experience. So the validity of perceptual theories can be checked only indirectly. That is, predictions derived from theory are compared with appropriate empirical data, um, quite often through experimental research. So historically and systematic thought about perceiving was the province of philosophy. So indeed, perceiving remains of interest to philosophers and many issues about the process that were originally raised by philosophers that are still um, of current concern as a scientific enterprise. However, the investigation of perception is uh, specifically developed.